From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Jared Fogle's ex-wife is suing Subway, saying they were negligent in how they handled the whole fiasco. Wait, wait, what? Well, your husband is the child molester, but you're suing his employer? Are, are you a little whacked in the head, too? Drinking coffee every day may just keep your brain healthy as you age. But if you drink too much, it could just do the opposite and increase your odds of developing dementia, according to Italian researchers. Those who drank one or two cups of coffee every day they had a lower rate of mild cognitive impairment, which is a decline in memory and thinking that's often the precursor to dementia compared with those who never or rarely consumed coffee. However, drinking more than two cups of coffee that offered no cognitive benefit. In addition, when people increased how much coffee they typically drank by even one or two cups, the rate of mild cognitive impairment also increased. So coffee's good for you – until it's not good for you, at which point you should stop drinking it. Until it's good for you again. All right, you know, Honestly, I don't think these people have a clue as to what their studies actually indicate. They're just making this up as they go. Jamie Lee Curtis is returning to the newest Halloween movie at the age of 58. Now, I would call foul on this because she was killed in her previous appearance in the series, but then she is related to Michael Myers, which seems to be immortal, so who knows what could happen. Well, this is disgusting. If you share a bathroom with others, there is most likely traces of poop on your toothbrush, according to research. Led by Lauren Aber, the research team analyzed toothbrushes from the students who used communal bathrooms, with an average of more than nine uses per bathroom. At least 60 percent of the toothbrushes were contaminated with fecal matter, no matter how the toothbrush was stored. In addition, there was an 80 percent chance that the fecal matter found on the toothbrushes came from someone other than the toothbrush's owner. Man, you know, I'm, I may have to start brushing my teeth in the kitchen. Either that or start pooping in the garage. Toys R Us is declaring bankruptcy to help them recover before the holidays. So now could be the most affordable time ever to buy an Etch-a-Sketch. A report says robots will eventually take over the job of real estate appraisals. You can still bribe the property inspector, though. You just need to switch out the cash for WD-40 and electrical tape. It's come to this. By just doing your job and sitting at your desk all day, you could be raising your risk of death. A lot. How? It's your chair. It's a killer. People who sit 11 or more hours a day are 40 percent more likely to die over the next three years, no matter how physically active they are the rest of the time, reports a study from the University of Sydney in Australia. What can you do? Well, if you sit long hours at work, spend your leisure time on your feet. Meaning I should be dead by now. A study says being generous makes people happier. You know, I got to admit, when somebody is generous to me, that makes me happier. Speaking of generosity, today's Daily Dose of Weird News is dedicated to my friends at Cross International. A single gift of $60 will feed a child for a full five months in Kenya and South Sudan. I made my gift and sponsored three children, but I'm only asking you to sponsor one – a single, one-time gift of 60 bucks. Call 866-822-4883 to donate now. That's 866-822-4883. Or you can give online by clicking the Cross International banner at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. And thank you in advance for being a generous weirdo. If you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other social media to help get the word out. To become an official weirdo, click that subscribe button and click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be a part of the notification squad. And while you're at it, click that like button to let the world know that you are an official weirdo.